yeah, generally we target uh, transactions with ticket size uh, between something between $5 million and $25 million for a significant minority, something between 25 and 35%. We, pre we prefer to team up with strategic partners or well-established st strategic partners or financial institutions. So in our recent deals, we invested with a company, fast-growing company, which is fully backed by first-time private equity firm. And now it, the company is ready to be on pre-IPO process more or less, or pre-IPO pre readiness plan, so we join such company. So strong management team, good private equity firm, so like-minded like partners who, can we, who we can work with. This is a way uh, of it. Uh, actually, KIA has investments in Egypt since the 60s with portfolio of assets of more than $2 billion. And now the, more, the new strategy is to try to partner with financial institutions, strategic investors, so maybe we have different models of partnerships as well, not just with the government. We are sector agnostic. Mm. Uh, we are excluding a few sectors which we on KIA level have uh, large exposure uh, to them, including financial services, banks and uh, tourism, but at large we are sector agnostic. What? We have some focus mm. in terms of we do, we do like to invest in education, in healthcare, in food especially, food processing and renewable energy. Uh, the market is, is booming, a lot of good opportunities under, under the screening uh, phase by our team and other teams. And one, one shift has, been, has started to materialize is startup business. So the startups are growing, doing very well. A lot of venture capital firms has been able to successfully, to successfully raise money and deploy. And one of the companies I'm um, I'm amazed with it and I'm a big fan of it is Swivel and Swivel is, is coming from Egypt, expanding to Kenya and Pakistan, so this is something good. So for, for an investor who accepts the macroeconomic challenges uh, and already is committed to invest in Egypt, I think is the speed uh, and the level of trust. So it's not easy to, to have high level of trust between a family business, for example, and the private equity firm. So maybe by the time, by having more uh, good success stories of private equity or a sovereign fund or a DFI, partnering with a family business, make a success story, go for IPO, for example, like what we have seen in Ibn Sina with EBRD or previously with between Edita and Actis, I think the market will be more, has more appetite for partnerships and not just focus on what's the valuation at this round. Maybe what's the potential for the pie? It could be bigger in the future. We, across, we, we invest across the value chain. So in one investment, the recent one, it's a pre-IPO one, and in another one, it's more or less, it's at a bit earlier stage. And for startups, we would like to approach startups, but it's below our ticket size, so we are thinking of how maybe to partner with a venture capital firm to get exposure for such, uh, for such asset class. We are very interested uh, for co-investment opportunities, so we are looking for co-investment opportunities if the size of the, of the transaction allow us to do so. We, we like most of, our, of other private equity, we would prefer to work on proprietary deals. So it's deals, we have our exclusive uh, period and we are, we are working uh, on it.